Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil. Uh, just want to ans answer the question because there was a viewer who um, thought that I pre recorded my videos from beta. Okay, so again, this account is not under beta. This is a Vanguard account that I played during soft launch. Of course, I'm still playing it now. Okay, that. To answer your question, he might have thought that I was using, you know, pre-recorded it because the my level was too advanced, and uh, you know, um, <laughs> it, it was just funny. So, just to more or less um, explain to you guys, so why this account has a so advanced level. Uh, because this is a Vanguard server account which was created during soft launch. I use it. I'm at level 89, which is really, really hard to level up at this point. So, again, with that said, we're going to be going to Nuno. Um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on her, uh, how, you know, how good she is, how bad she is. And all those questions that I've seen already in the comments. So, again, for Nuno, I I got Nuno, and um, of course, in in in, in the Vanguard server, um, I got th there was already a banner there for Nuno, so that is why I pulled for her there. I think I got her through a pity pull, so I spent one pity on her. Um, let us go through all of the things that she does before I give my comments. I've been playing Nuno since, um, what? Since, again, since Vanguard, since soft launch. So, as for her, you know, as for her plays, I already am equipping her with, uh, this, these are four star healer sets. So, this is, um, Lobelia set. I don't have the five star version of this yet, but this will definitely do. Okay. So this is actually a must for her as well. So all healers, especially if they're pure healers, they need um, the healing sets that uh, we have available, either four star or five star. Okay. So for no, for Nuno, um, again, most of the stats that she has, the important thing, the important stat that you should look at is going to be AP and bonus healing effect these are the two stats that you really need to improve on her because again the bonus healing is good because she's a healer then ap ap her healing is based on ap okay so again because she's a she's a, a duetrix and also similar with the caster they are of ap or attack uh, ability power okay so again a lot of people are asking what is ap what is ad then ap is ability power okay so that is where they get their uh, what they call this their multiplier or their base for the multiplier for their skills so as you can see here this is her basic attack ap is here so base ap times the multiplier so again your ap stat is going to be her base so this is just damage and basic attack moving on to her passive which is graceful moves i'm at level six with her upon entering battle nuno gains one stack of wind breath wind breath as you noticed guys is is for um wind based um or air based um heroes Okay, so every six attacks, her next attack triggers Nuno Zone. So six attacks, Nuno Zone healing all allies by 120 to 128% of AP. So take note, if you scale this, definitely you'll have a bigger percentage. You, you'll have a bigger amount at the percentage of healing. So Wind Breath, each stack increases AD and AP by 2%, up to five stacks. Also, animal characters, which are wind characters, Skills can be buffed by wind breath. So all of her skills are are have wind breath. Take note, her active, her ultimate, all have wind breath. She is she is more powerful in a wind 
team or an animo team but take note it doesn't mean that you can't use her in any team she is still very very good but with a win team she is going to up that because this the the, the wind breath is going to be helping all animo um heroes so that's on that's my only point here it doesn't mean that she it doesn't mean that she's not with a win team she is not useful she is actually very very good still so that is her passive which is based on healing for her active she has two so this one is nunu heals allies within a circular area so this one is a healing for all allies this is the multiplier for the ap um when breath consume will extend the duration to six seconds and apply bonus healing equal to 100 percent ap okay so i won't reread the wind breath the difference between this one and this one this one uh tinkling bell so that was sway dance that i mentioned tinkling bell is heals only one ally but this one is a bigger heal so consuming two stacks of wind breath can grant ally a physical shield so heal one physical shield this effect lasts for 7.5 seconds so that is the difference it really depends on your preference for me i'm still using the heal all allies because it's very very useful um and um you, you really don't know especially if you want to play auto ideally you'll have to use the heal all allies so for her ultimate so nuno creates an aromatic zone around herself healing all allies so another heal okay so this is this is the the multiplier here in five seconds she gains two stacks and applies two stacks uh of wind breath and all cards on the deck will cost one less energy so again she, uh, most of her kit is based really on healing plus um other effects that could you know tinker less like for example this one less one energy but she is really a healer by heart okay okay should you get her um what else we need to discuss so let's let's discuss weekend later should you get her at this point okay these are the only contentions that i you know that i will say if you are if you have roko roko is actually serviceable already uh, basically nuno is um kind of upgrade of roko but if you don't want to spend on this banner then definitely you can pass this up it's not really a must pull especially if you have roko um, the only substitute that I think that um, uh, Nuno will, you know, will will be acceptable with is going to be Roko. So again, if you have Roko, she's not really a must pull. If you if you don't have Roko, which I doubt it, because we get Roko for free. Um, I don't know, but more or less all of us have Roko. So by this time, she is going to be just a, a upgrade to roko but not really a must okay with that said i'm just gonna say this now the difference between the both of them i've used them in you know in um vanguard server both um nuno has more frequent heals because of this one so she heals more frequently for me i don't have a problem with her in terms of um my hp going down she really heals quickly with all the heals that she has so one two three um i did i don't really have a problem with her i like the frequency of her heals how frequent she heals especially for the passive healing this is going to be important to you if you want that quick rate of heal for your team so that being said i'll leave it up to you if you want to summon for nunu but again, she's not a must pull, but her rate of heal is faster than Roko. Okay, so <laughs> that being said, let's go to our Awakened Tree. So right now, phase one, bonus healing. Phase two, energy refund. Phase three is actually important because you'll have to choose if you're running a, you know, a animal team. 
ideally you'll be getting this one because more wind breath effects will really really improve your team but if you don't have if you're not running her with an animo team then this one is going to be very good especially if you're choosing sway sway dance so again it really depends on which skill you're going to be using then you true you choose the appropriate you know selection for the tree that is what i'm saying but again the sway dance has ill heal all and this one increases the range and can cleanse to the boss very very good utility to have next up is going to be this one is also pertaining to wind breath so again if your team is wind based or animal based then get this but if not the upper part will be good when self hp is above 70 increase healing done by 20 percent which is actually nice enough then this one of course the upper part is um centered around wind breath again so an animal team this one is every four basic attacks new new zone triggers instead of six you you this triggers at four so a discount of probably 40 percent so this triggers it faster triggers healing faster so next up in the last one is phase six phase six is uh more or less centered around wind breath so it really is up to you on how you're gonna build her at this point i'm sure you'll have more wind heroes or characters by this time so that is it so again i just want to recap if you're if you have roko she's not really a must pull all of us have roko but again if you want that higher frequency of heal then get her she will be very very good with an animal team i'm sure in the future we will have an animal team but right now she is i'm just gonna say it now she's the best healer even best than roko but again she's not really a must because roko is actually very very good even especially with copies for roko you won't need her really but if you really want the best healer in the game then go for nuno that is actually just my opinion guys i've been using both of them since uh vanguard i have both of them i have both of them at 70. so again um it's up to you i'm giving you that choice hopefully um you know you could make that uh, most uh, the the best choice again you have to consider the next banner the next banner would be um, Rita. So if you don't have Rita, if you want to get Rita, then you can actually skip for this banner, especially if you're free to play so that you can save before. Again, the next banner is in, in the next few days. So I don't know if you can still save. But again, this banner is that a must pull Rico, uh, Rico, not Rico. Roko is serviceable. But if you want the best, then you get Nunu at this point. So thank you very much guys i hope it makes sense to you um again comment down in the comment section i love those comments those questions please keep them coming um because i'd like to answer your questions um and, but but please bear with me i usually answer them as soon as i see them but sometimes i you know i group them when i answer them so again please bear with me so thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.